Hello, and welcome to this episode of Inside Tech. Today, we will be taking a look at the release date and possible price as well of the HTC Evo 4G. A really solid phone, guys. Um, it's looking pretty good. In addition, we also have a very cool tutorial on how to turn your normal SIM card into a micro SIM for using your iPad 3G. Very handy if you have one of those. And lastly, we're going to be taking a look at Android for the iPhone 3G. This is something I'm really excited about, guys. I'm kind of an Android nerd, and Android running on the iPhone is just really, really exciting. Well, that's not weird or anything, is it? <laughs> anyway, let's get this one started. Hey guys, so to begin with, let's take a look at the HTC Evo 4G, a really promising new smartphone that's going to be coming to Sprint soon, or more specifically, it looks like June 6th. Uh, now, I won't go into all the details, I'm sure you guys have heard about it a million times already, um, but now I'll just go over the really basics. Um, it's a very, very cool looking uh, HTC uh, Android smartphone. Um, and the main claim to fame, it's got a lot of cool things like a Snapdragon processor, a very high resolution screen, a lot of cool stuff like that. But the main claim to fame is that it's going to be the first 4G phone on Sprint. Um, now Sprint is, I'm not, I don't know the exact numbers, but I know that Sprint has really heavily advertised 4G. Um, and they really seem to be, I believe, the main people who actually built it out and actually have a decent 4G network. Again, I don't know the exact numbers, I know it's in a good amount of uh, cities. Um, but so it's a pretty cool deal that they're actually going to be getting the Evo 4G. Um, because this phone it looks like, I mean, it's going to be just fantastic. It's got all kinds of just great features. And in fact, it's going to be running on a really high-speed 4G network. And of course, it can come down to a 3G network if, you know, you don't have get 4G in your area. Most people don't, but some people do. So it's a very cool thing. Um, so, yeah, that's the date. And of course, the price, we've only heard this once. We've heard that, uh, the date, June 6th, several times. The price we've only heard once, but it seems like um, on contract it's going to be $200, which sounds fantastic, about the norm for cell phones these days. Um, and we're not sure, but it looks like it might be on, uh, without a contract, it might be $600. Um, again, this is all kind of speculation as far as the price is concerned. Um, it's, it's just from, you know, one person who supposedly heard this from a radio shack, so I wouldn't totally trust it. Um, but $200, $200 on contract and $600 off contract sounds pretty reasonable to me, so I wouldn't be surprised if that's what we end up seeing. Okay guys, so now for a little bit of news if you have an iPad 3G. Um, this is going to be pretty handy. There is a tutorial, uh, of course I will have it linked below. There is a tutorial on how to turn your normal SIM card into a micro SIM card. Um, now if you don't know what this means, um, basically it's very simple. Uh, the iPad 3G uses a micro SIM card, which is literally identical to a normal SIM card except it's just been cut down. Um, and basically that's all you have to do to get your normal SIM card down to a micro SIM. Now you might be wondering, well why would you want to do this? Well, if you didn't know already, the iPad 3G comes unlocked already. So when you buy it, it's not a problem at all for you to just take out your AT&T micro SIM and either buy one, uh, buy a micro SIM from maybe like T-Mobile or somewhere else, although I will note that you really can't do that right now. Or you can just take your existing SIM card and just cut it down very carefully to around the contacts, put it in, it should work just fine. And of course, a bit of warning, you know, you guys, you know, if you one small cut that, you know, goes wrong or whatever, and you could lose your SIM card. Um, but as long as you're careful, it looks like it'd be pretty good. So if you're interested, maybe, you know, getting it on T-Mobile or some other carrier and just cut down your SIM card, definitely take a look at the tutorial. Thing we'll be taking a look at today is a very very cool thing guys um, I'm really uh, kind of like an Android nerd but uh, Planet Being um, a member of the iPhone dev team has just posted a video showing that he's got Android running on the iPhone 3G now. Um, if you remember a couple weeks back they had uh, he was able to port it over to the iPhone 2G which was just fantastic basically working perfectly just you know a little bit slow um, but now he has brought it over to the iPhone 3G, and it's basically done. Um, only main things is that sound is not working, and multi-touch is a little bit odd. But both of these things are going to be easily uh, fixed. I think he's already working on those. It'll probably be done here within a few days. Um, it's really fantastic. Of course, there's still little bugs and glitches. It's not 100% perfect, but all the main things work. Um, you know, like um, sending calls works if you know the sound just doesn't work, but if, uh, everything like that works. You know, you get on the internet. Um, a lot of really cool stuff. I mean, it's 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 really fantastic. 
And of course, it's dual boot too. So you, all you have to do is just when you shut off your iPhone, um, it just goes to an open iBoot menu, and then you just select either do you want uh, do you want the iPhone OS or do you want Android. It's a really really cool thing. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this. They work more. Um, it's just getting better and better, and I'm really gonna looking forward to uh, once Android hits all the I iPods and iPhones and hopefully even iPad. And that's it for this episode of Inside Tech. I'd like to thank you for watching, and if you'd like, feel free to subscribe. I continuously do uh, all kinds of videos about you know iPods, iPhones, jailbreaking, as well as just general tech news. Um, so anyway, guys, thanks for watching.